Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy in Hartsville, South Carolina. Now I'm supposed to be cleaning out the pasture, but I came across this amazing thistle, and I just don't have the heart to cut it down. This is a bull thistle. And it's the national flower of Scotland. It's a very appropriate choice considering the country's history. A tough, defiant plant to represent a tough, defiant people. This plant is not native to the U.S. It's believed to have been introduced in colonial days. It's done well here and now can be found in every state in the country. And check this out. Not only is the plant itself impressive, but it's also covered with these fascinating bugs. These are leaf-footed bugs. They get their name from the leaf-like appendages on their back legs. Leaf-footed bugs are true bugs. People tend to use the name bug loosely to refer to any kind of insect. I do this myself, but by definition, a true bug is supposed to have a mouth especially designed for piercing and sucking. This type of mouth is referred to as a proboscis. Leaf-footed bugs use their proboscis to suck the juices out of plants. But some bugs are predators and use their proboscis to suck the blood out of other animals. You may notice that these leaf-footed bugs have a white stripe going across their back. These are eastern leaf-footed bugs. But what are all these little red bugs? Well, these are leaf-footed bugs, too. These are young leaf-footed bugs. They don't look much like their parents. But they're the same kind of bug. Leaf-footed bugs are actually pretty good parents. They stay close to their young and ward off predators. When researchers removed adults from plants and placed them on plants nearby of the same kind, they observed that the adults flew back to the plants where their young were. How about that?